What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, and I'm back again. And today I'm going to be talking about how to connect your complete uh, or connect the complete control S61 Mark II, long name, but I'm going to show you how to connect and set up and use this controller inside of machine. Beautiful controller. If you haven't seen my review on it, check the review. I'll put the link, you know, somewhere on this screen where you can click on it and check it out. So um, uh, I really dig this vibe and how they connected and deeply integrated uh, this uh, controller with machine. Uh, I told one of my homeboys the other day that this is probably the, 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 the thing I've been waiting for um, as a keyboard player or as a producer or whatever, uh, cause I'm not like a beat maker or anything like that. So I don't need like 16 pads. I need like 88 keys. You know what I'm saying? I should put that on a t-shirt. I don't need 16 pads. I need 88 keys anyway. So, um, what I was really excited about was the deep integration. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use this and how you can set this up. So first off, you want to make sure you got it connected, got everything moving right. So you want to go in here inside a machine uh, and click on controller. If you don't see this in there, if it's grayed out or whatever, and you don't see it and it's not connecting, then you're going to want to check your install, restall, check your updates, update your machine. I had to do some updating and stuff to make sure uh, that it was able to connect. I even had to update the firmware on this particular board to get it to work. So if you're having trouble with getting things connected, you want to start with the firmware and the updates and all of that uh, and make sure you're running machine 2.6 point, whatever uh, the latest version of machine. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get any connection. All right, then you want to go into preferences here and you're going to want to go into MIDI and make sure that you have the complete control S61 uh, selected, checkboxed on input. So that's going to be important for playing stuff. So let's get into the overview of how this connects and how this flows or whatever. First off, you got these two big gorgeous screens that you can use and you can actually see like your arrangement and all of that and your patterns all right inside of this flow i think that's just really really dope that's what really really impressed me about this is that i don't even have to look at the computer screen i got the arrangement and then my midi and all of that right in one window and i can in two windows right here on the keyboard and i can edit it and do what i need to do there but i can go into scene mode by pressing this button and i can see my scenes that i have i can add new scenes you know what i mean i can do that kind of thing go back to the scene i can select my scenes I can go to pattern mode right here and create patterns. I can look at my tracks, my groups, and all of that stuff like that. Uh, I can change my key mode. These are all things that I've been so used to doing with my uh, my controller. I have the machine MK2. Um, so uh, I've been so used to doing all these things with that controller uh, and then having to fly back here to the piano and play some stuff if I needed a sound or whatever, but now I can do it all in one. You got your transport controls over here, which your record, your stop, your play, loop, uh, your metronome, your tempo. Uh, you got scale mode, arpeggiators. That's the same thing that could be used as your note repeat. Uh, if you wanted to do like some of those note repeat things, you use the ARP, uh, quantize, automation, undo and redo, all right here in this area to where you can do it. Then you got your encoders that you can use to change. Like if I'm in pattern mode, I can use this to change through my different pads. Like if I change my key mode, you can see over here on this screen that it's moving uh, throughout the 16 pads or what have you, the 16 sound sets. So that's pretty, pretty dope. And you can see it inside of machine as well, uh, as I looked up to see. You can see that it's going through that, so you can do that. And if I want to create a pattern, uh, I can just hit this button right here, right over there, and it creates a new pattern. I can use this to set the length. And then when I want to start looking for sounds to add in, I can just hit the browser button and it gives me this gorgeous kind of view of the, um, you know, all of the different sounds and samples. So I can start with my samples. Let's say I want to kick sample and it gives me the preview, the audio preview as I scroll through here. You know, so I find a kick that I like. But let's just say we just want to start with something like that. I can hit the load button. Then I can come back to pattern. 
and now I got that loaded and it's a light indicator right here a little bit hard to see but you can see it right there that lights up on that key so let's just say we're just gonna put down something really really quick I can turn on my metronome hit record and then hit play and we'll let it cycle through all the way to the end here we'll just create a basic kind of pattern one two three four You know what I'm saying? I can quantize that, hit the quantize button here, and then hit it right there. Now that's quantized, and you can see it over here, you know, where it's been kind of quantized. I can zoom in and zoom out here and look at my look at where everything is. So let's say we want to go ahead and add something else in, like a kick, a clap. I can go here, change my sound, go to browser, jump over here. And we can, you know, keep our subtype on drums. Well, our type on drums and subtype, we go to clap. And just use that as an example. We'll hit that load. We'll jump back here to pattern mode. Hit record. We'll quantize that. So we got that quantized. Okay, so let's say that now we want to, we're ready to add in a, a sound, like a, you know, bass sound, a lead sound, or whatever, a synth or something. You know, I go here to browser, uh, and then in instead of going into uh, samples here, I can change just by using these buttons here and I can go back to instruments and then I can use these encoders here I can go categories and change different categories synthesizers sampled instruments all that good stuff or I can just scroll through like this and find what I'm looking for so let's say I want to add in something from FM8 so I can go in here and this new preview mode that they've kind of added in is really dope because I can actually listen to my sounds before I actually, you know, load them up. So no more loading sounds and then waiting on it to load, then, you know, picking it up. I can just pick it up and load it from there. So let's just say I want to go with, let's go with something like that. So I'll hit load and it'll load on in. And once it finishes loading, loads up real quick. And I got it there. So I can't control it any other way. So I want to be able to play it like a synth. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to press my key mode button right here. And now, as you can see, the, the lights lit up here. So now I got, I got that in there. So I can kind of come up with an idea of what I want to do. Saying. So I can go back to my pattern, wait on the cycle back around. One, two, three, four. Not perfect, but that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but hey, but we'll use it for the example. So we'll keep that going. May want to quantize that. And then we want to add something else. So I can go to sound four, go here, and let's look for something that's arpeggiated. Let's just add a piano, just using this as an example. So we'll come out of drum percussion, we'll go back over here. And I'll go to just the Maverick. We'll just load it up. 
And then while that's loading up, go ahead and get it loaded. Here it comes, there we go. So I can add this if I want to add that in. Hit record. One, two, one, two, three. You know, you're back in there. So, now, in no way is that meant to be like anything professional. But this is just me showing the concept. It's not a professional track. I would go a little bit deeper. So, now, another couple of cool things about this. Uh, you can get in. You got your patterns. You can look at the patterns, overview them. Uh, you got your track mode. I can add other groups, change my key modes, operate all those things. But what's really dope is there's a mixer section here. So, I can hit this mixer button. And now, I can control the mix and mix the track uh, right here inside of this window, which is really, really cool. So if I hit play here, you know what I'm saying? Pretty cool stuff. So that's pretty much the overview of how you can kind of quickly get in and use stuff inside of machine, use this controller inside of machine. Just wanted to kind of get in and show you a quick couple of down and dirty uh, things with it. Uh, hopefully this blessed you. Hopefully this helped you. you know how we do. Uh, I got some more videos coming. Uh, I got some more on Logic and other softwares using this controller. I'm really going to try to dig in as deep as possible as I can with this. But I got some other great videos coming. Check them out on the, on the channel. Uh, hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, all those other buttons that do stuff. And we'll look to see you guys here on the next stream. Uh, I'm out. I'm John Mike. Holla at your boy.